Hello future travelers, welcome back to Legalopolis. Friends, have you ever wondered what happens when a country's diplomats are suddenly expelled or recalled? These aren't just routine procedures, they often signal major diplomatic crises. Today, we are diving into what it means when diplomats are sent home, the international consequences that follow, and some fascinating facts about how diplomacy works. But first, let's break down the basics. What is an embassy and a consulate? Friends, an embassy is the main diplomatic mission of a sending country located in the capital of a host country or the receiving country. It represents the sending government in official matters like managing political relations and addressing security and economic concerns. The person in charge is known as an ambassador who is generally the highest ranking diplomat who represents their country. Meanwhile, a consulate is a smaller diplomatic office outside of the capital, providing services to citizens like issuing passports, visas and offering emergency assistance. The consulate is often led by deputy head of mission or consul. Now let's understand diplomatic immunity and what it has to do with Vienna Convention. Friends, at the heart of diplomatic relations is the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations of 1961, which outlines the privileges diplomats enjoy. Article 31 grants diplomats immunity, meaning they cannot be arrested or prosecuted under the laws of the host country, allowing them to perform their duties without interference. But did you know that the host country can declare a diplomat persona non grata at any time and for any reason? Under Article 9, if the sending country doesn't recall these ambassadors or diplomats in a reasonable period, they might lose their immunity. And this often marks a severe diplomatic rift. Now let's first understand some important facts about embassies and consulates. Friends, embassies and consulates play a critical role in international relations. Though located in another country, that is the host country, they are not considered sovereign territory of the sending country. Instead, they enjoy specific protections under international law. Here are some of the protections and privileges that diplomats have. Number one, protected premises. Embassies are protected spaces where the host country must ensure safety from intrusion or damage. While these embassies do not have sovereign status, the premises are treated as inviolable, means no one can enter without permission from the head of the mission. Number two, safeguarding documents. The documents and archives of an embassy remain inviolable and cannot be seized or opened by the host government. This protection helps maintain the confidentiality of sensitive information. Then comes number three, diplomatic bags. Friends, diplomatic bags are the bags that are used for transporting sensitive material or information. These bags are exempt from inspection and the couriers delivering them cannot be arrested or detained, ensuring secure transfer of information. Number four, immunity from arrest. Diplomats cannot be arrested or detained by the host country. They enjoy immunity that protects their dignity, allowing them to fulfill their responsibilities without any fear of interference. Number five, they have legal immunity. Diplomats are generally immune from civil and criminal jurisdiction of the host country unless they engage in activities outside of their official duties. The sending country may choose to waive this immunity if necessary. Number six, tax exemption. Diplomatic missions benefit from exemptions on taxes and custom duties facilitating their operations in the host country. Number seven, family protection. The family members of diplomats living in the host country also enjoy many of the same privileges and immunities, thereby ensuring their safety and security in another country. And number eight. Now here we come to restriction. Diplomats and their families are prohibited from acquiring citizenship in the host country. This regulation helps maintain their diplomatic status 
and the principle of non-interference in local affairs. So friends, what does it mean when diplomats are expelled? Friends, when relations between two countries break down, the host country may decide to expel the diplomats of the sending country. Now, this expulsion can occur for various reasons, including allegations of espionage, engaging in illegal activities, or due to escalating tensions between these nations. Now, once a diplomat is expelled, they lose their diplomatic immunity and must leave the host country promptly. Now, even in situations where diplomatic communication is strained, the host country is still obligated to allow unrestricted communication between the diplomatic mission and the sending country as part of Vienna Convention. For instance, even during challenging and difficult times, diplomatic couriers are protected and cannot be arrested or detained, allowing important communication and cooperation to continue. Friends, recently we have witnessed significant diplomatic fallouts over the years. The most recent being the incident in October 2024 between India and Canada, which was driven by escalating tensions between the two countries. Similarly, in September 2023, United States and Russia engaged in reciprocal expulsions with the US expelling two Russian diplomats in response to Russia's declaration of two American diplomats as persona non grata. In June 2023, Iceland suspended its embassy in Moscow and requested Russia to downsize its diplomatic presence in Reykjavik due to ongoing war in Ukraine. Friends, these examples highlight the ongoing strain in bilateral relations which results in expulsions and recalls which not only disrupt diplomatic services for citizens but also reflect deeper geopolitical tensions that can have far-reaching implications. Now, what recalling of diplomats or expulsion of diplomats means for citizens? Friends, when diplomatic ties between two countries deteriorate, it can have far-reaching consequences that extend beyond politics. The first and the immediate impact happens on students and professionals living in that country. Students and professionals from both nations may face challenges due to strained diplomatic relations. Visa processing could slow down, Embassy services might be disrupted, leading to delays in travel, work permits or study plans. This can significantly affect those planning to study or work abroad in the other country. Now, diplomatic fallout often impacts visa services and sometimes this diplomatic fallout can cause even temporary suspensions of applications. Now, this creates uncertainty for individuals with urgent travel plans, such as students starting school or professional with job commitments, or if someone is traveling for medical procedures to another country. Then there are impact on trade negotiations. If there are any ongoing negotiations on trade agreements or deals that benefit both countries, a diplomatic fallout may put these on hold. This not only affects large industries, but can also create ripple effects for businesses that rely on cross-border trade. Friends, when tensions rise, citizens of both countries may become hesitant to travel for tourism, education, work or family visits. This hesitation leads to a significant drop in travel, impacting the tourism sector and the broader economy of both the nations. And of course, whether related to tourism, trade or educational exchanges, diplomatic fallout has the potential to negatively affect both economies. Fewer people traveling, working or investing in each other's countries can stall economic growth and opportunities. These are just some of the potential consequences of diplomatic disputes, illustrating how far reaching the impact can be on everyday lives. So friends, diplomatic expulsions and recalls are not just symbolic actions. They have real consequences that affect everything from international relations to the services citizens depend on. The next time you hear about diplomats being sent home, remember the far-reaching effects beyond politics. So friends, I hope this video gave you a clearer understanding of what happens when diplomats are recalled or expelled. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing for more immigration-related
content. I wish you all the very best for your upcoming visa processing. I hope it happens timely and successfully. Thanks for watching and until next time, safe travels.